Francis Ngannou is getting older and he hasn't fought in MMA for a while. This could be the fight where age catches up with him. This is a very important fight for PFL and Ngannou because if Ngannou loses, the PFL might panic. His opponent, Renan Ferreira, is 6 feet 8 inches giant, weighing around 261 pounds. Ferreira possesses significant size and 85 inch reach advantages in his fights. 11 out of his 13 wins came by knockouts, which is phenomenal. Ferreira is quick, powerful, and so is Nganu, which makes this matchup really intriguing. Another interesting matchup is Chris Cyborg versus Larissa Pacheco, former two-division PFL Brasilia champion. Nganu and Cyborg are about to make their PFL debuts on October 19th. Both fighters, Nganu and Cyborg, will be fighting for the new PFL Super Fights Championship belts. After being away from MMA for 30 months, months, can Nganu still be at the top of his game? Absolutely, and nobody can argue otherwise. Remember this is Francis Nganu, who moved from Cameroon to France, didn't start combat sports until his 20s, won a UFC title against Stipe, the best heavyweight ever, defended the belt on one leg with a hidden knee injury, and then boxed and nearly beat Tyson Fury, the best heavyweight boxer in his first ever professional boxing match. I wouldn't say there's much Nganu can't do now. The odds are against him now because of his age, his time off and the personal loss he suffered this year. He publicly mourned the death of his 15-month-old son recently. He shared this sad story on his Instagram saying, too soon to leave, but yet he's gone. My little boy, my mate, my partner Kobe was full of life and joy. Now he's laying without life. I shouted his name over and over, but he's not responding. I was my best self next to him, and now I have no clue of who I am. Life is so unfair to hit us where it hurts the most. How do you deal with such a thing? How can you live with it? Please help me if you have an idea because I really don't know what to do and how to deal with this. That's heartbreaking. Hope he pulls a victory so his pain is a little compensated. How do Nganu and Ferreira match up? There are so many unknowns heading into this fight for Nganu. He's coming off a brutal knockout by Anthony Joshua, and he hasn't fought in MMA for over two years. He'll be 38 by the time he steps into the smart cage with Ferreira, and nobody knows how much he still wants to compete after his boxing venture and the death of his son. Ferreira, on the other hand, has a big height and reach advantage with his brilliant record. He's three years younger than Nganu, but Ferreira has been knocked out before, so there are questions questions about him too. The excitement around this fight makes it the most anticipated in PFL history. For PFL, we'll see what this fight means. The organization has been operating in the UFC's shadow for a while, and they're okay with that, but that's not their long-term goal. When the PFL signed Nganu in 2023, they hyped it up as a game changer. They got the baddest man on the planet, the number one heavyweight in the world. But will that translate to viewers? Will it bring more attention to the brand and excite fans? Nganu return along with Cyborg's PFL debut is expected to create a lot of buzz, but will it be enough? This is a big moment for the PFL, and it comes with high expectations. The PFL has been playing the long game, and that's why they're in a position to take this shot with fighters like Nganu. How well this event does will be a big indicator of PFL's future. In fact, it'll tell the PFL a lot about where they stand. How do Chris Cyborg and Pacheco match up? Cyborg and Pacheco match up in a way that plays into Cyborg's strengths. Pacheco is known for her forward pressure and power. She could be a perfect target for Cyborg's heavy strikes, but there's a catch. Cyborg is 39 years old and hasn't been very active. With just one MMA fight in two years, a first round knockout against a past prime Kat Zingano. On the other hand, 29-year-old Pacheco has been busier, clinching her second PFL title last year. Pacheco is pumped for this fight, predicting a tough battle between two fierce Brazilians. 